What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Wall of Monkey channel. Let's dive right in. Today what I want to do is sort of a part two and follow up to uh, what we were just talking about in a previous video where somebody with a 765 check system score was actually denied for a new bank account. So anyway, where we left off with that, I looked at this and I said, hey, here's where you need to be looking. You need to be looking at EWS, early warning system, telecheck, and then obviously check systems. Well, I've got my hands on a recent check systems report and a early warning um, sample report. So early warning uh, systems, early warning services rather, uh, EWS. And I wanted to walk through them with you and show you. So we've now added this to the site as well. Early warning is actually uh, co-owned by seven of the largest banks in the world. And they, they're they essentially, I guess, considered a FinTech as well because they are the ones behind the Zelle network, which is the instant payment system that um, allows you to send between banks. Now, what's interesting about that is it's got its own fraud um, blocking usage that you start to figure out when you start using it. Like I never really used it. I've, I've used it quite a bit actually within the last two, three weeks. And I had to make several calls and figure out like how to, how to get this unlocked because essentially they didn't like how I was using it because they don't really want you to use it that much, I guess. So I was using it to, you know, send money back and forth uh, to myself, to anyone I could because it's free. Anyways, it was kind of interesting because as I called into the primary bank for that, they had to put me on hold to then contact, <laughs> I guess, early warning. I just didn't know that until the other day. They, I guess, had to put me on hold to contact Zelle to essentially take the block off the account. So very odd, but uh, that all makes a lot more sense now. It is a CRA, so a credit uh, reporting agency. And so you can request a free report, at least one, every 12 months. You can dispute. I'm sure there's freezes. There's other things that you can do, just like with um, dang near every single other CRA, okay? So today, again, our hyper focus is check systems and early warning service. So let's start with check systems. So I'm sure you've gotten this report before, right? Because you're inclined to, you know, figure out what's going on and you just want to know what these reports are saying about you, what kind of data they're collecting, et cetera, et cetera. And so you get this report and you just kind of notice that it's like, it's a nothing burger. First off, it tells you that they've got this information in their database. They're collecting information on inquiries into setting up new bank accounts, checks, et cetera. Here is uh, those two disclosures. And then you see it just busts out into inquiries. And all these inquiries are banks. So these are for checking accounts, savings accounts, even because I saw one in here. So we've got some, we got some good options in here too. We got NIH Federal, Quorum Federal, um, BMO Harris, Boeing, all really solid options. Uh, State Employees, CU of Maryland, that's another great one. Unify, where did I see it? Ally Bank. So Ally Bank is just savings accounts, is what I thought, like high yield savings accounts. But considering it's a bank institution, I don't know if they have checking, but that actually brings up a valid question. Somebody asked in the comments section of the first video that we made, hey, if I were to just get a savings account, is that a way around check systems? I told them maybe, but the more I'm thinking about this, it's probably not. Because for a checking or savings account, they probably are still pulling it. Now, maybe they don't with like American Express, if I'm already in the ecosystem and I wanna now set up a high yield savings account, are they gonna pull check systems? Maybe not. But if I'm brand new to the institution and I don't have a checking, they probably will. Um, let's just be honest. So it basically just gives all the inquiries of people that essentially are, are pulling the check systems report, right? And it tells you right here is that it tracks usage of checks by the one company that we brought up last time, which is, I think it's called Certigi. I think that's how you pronounce it, right? Something like that. And so that one, it collects check writing history. So there you go. That one's now, you know, solved and sealed. The next thing that I thought was interesting is history of checks ordered. So that means literally every time you're ordering checks, it will like track that in some sort of way um, for check fraud. I assume that's what that's for. And then it just goes to social security number of validation. And then at the bottom, all of the disclosures. So the um, Federal Fair Credit Reporting Act, the sections of that, right? So that's it. Like there's nothing really that special to a check systems report, right? Early warning, on the other hand, is way more interesting. Now this makes more sense. So if you want to know, uh, if you've got negative accounts and things that have happened in the past, it's early warning you wanna look at. Check Systems is not gonna report any of that. It's it's gonna be early warning. So let's dive into this. You got your basic info at the top, you're assigned a consumer ID, and then it just dives right into it. So it will give 
all the banks, the name, the information, and the status of the account, which is really, really interesting. So here is ABC Bank. And let's see if it says the status of the account. Okay, it doesn't, but you see the, the status is usually put at the top. So principal loss, $0. Incident date is from 2015. Contribution, uh, reason, transacting or attempting to transact with an account in an unauthorized or prohibited manner. Dispute reason, consumer disputes record with uh, furniture on 4 of 2016. Reinvestigation period is 30 days. Interesting, rebuttal statement currently on file. I disagree with ABC's decisions and reporting uh, is accurate. So here's another one that's in a different status. Current account status closed for cause purged. Previous account status closed for cause. And it gives literally balance information. So again, if you've got like a bank account that went south on you, um, non-sufficient fund fees, all of that, then that's what you're, this is what you're going to want to look at. Early warning. Okay. Current account status, new account. So I just thought this was really, really interesting. I wanted to share. This one doesn't have anything. So now we have more inquiry information as well. We have a telecheck, a citywide. That's interesting. So checking in on their check usage. We'll cover telecheck in just a second too. I'll show you why that's like a nothing burger. Essentially, it's more check writing. But here is another thing that you want to check out is definitions and terms. So closed for cause. The account is closed because the account was not handled in a manner consistent with bank policy. So that's what that one was that we saw. Closed for cause purge. The account is closed because the account was not handled in a manner consistent with bank policy. The bank has deleted the account record from its files. And then if you had any non-sufficient non funds, well, here you go. And an over D, uh, OD is overdraft. Pending closed, post no debits, post no checks. Well, there you go. And then again, the Fair Credit Act tells you exactly what it is. So I like that. Like with this now, they never used to quote this. I remember first getting into the game. They never really quoted this, but they got to tell you what you can do every time um, in these files. And like, you should know this. You should be aware of like what you can actually do. You have the right to request your score. You have the right to dispute information that you feel is inaccurate. All of this, you need to read this and make sure that you understand what that actually means so that you can use that to your advantage. All right, so, and it even gives you like what to do to dispute inaccurate information. And here's what you need. All right, I think that's all I wanted to show you here. Here's what the website looks like. Pretty simple, request a report. These videos here are like literally worthless. I looked into, I watched this one. Why was I declined? It says nothing. So the, the, the site is pretty thin. Dispute checklist is the same thing that we just looked at, but yeah. Pretty interesting. Uh, lastly, let's look at Telecheck. So I thought that, hey, maybe this was a player in this. Um, they're not. So here's here's how you can tell that. Telecheck is a check acceptance company. There you go. <laughs> Telecheck helps more than 374,000 merchant locations decide whether to accept the check transaction by authorizing whether to accept check transactions by analyzing information about check transactions that previously have been sent through its system. That is a mouthful. How does Telecheck do it? Uh, debt verification, risk-based decisioning. I mean, it kind of sounds sketchy, doesn't it? Like, do they have actual access to balance information or not? I just wonder, is that happening and they're just not saying it? They would have to say, like, legally they would have to state that. But it's just, I don't know, I have my doubts. What are the exact reasons you were declined? So even getting into this, you are declined because unpaid checks or bank account debt. You see, I don't think they really deal with this as much as you would think. But the way to prove this is um, get a telecheck report and uh, we can go through it. So, Or you can get one for yourself and go through it and just see what it reports. Um, if you never write checks, I assume that your report from them is going to be pretty thin. Telecheck can provide the specific details of the debt to you, just ask. Uh, you may also have been declined as a result of risk decisioning. Uh, it's got its own custom model, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so basically says nothing. So that's what tells me that unless you're out there writing checks, this is probably a nothing burger. It seems like the two to really clamp your eyes on is check systems in terms of figuring out how many inquiries you've gotten by checking by banking institutions for checking accounts and possibly savings accounts and an early warning uh, service or EWS. And that definitely fills the, the rest of the gap in terms of like bank account usage. So that's the one you would want to look at in terms of disputing information on there or getting the accounts updated properly because they I don't think they'll take it off just like check systems will not. I don't know how long they're going to hold it on. I couldn't find that information. If you've got that, I'd love to hear how long EWS keeps stuff on your file. I'd love to hear that. But if you've got more data that I missed or, or something else you'd like to add, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, like it if you want it to get in front of more people. If you're brand new here and you like this sort of thing, take a second, subscribe, hit the bell notification, turn it to all, be on the lookout. More videos coming soon.